of my little compact hydrocyclone here. Um, I ran one test already, however my hand was blocking the majority of the shot. So um, I guess what the trick is, is uh, get your, your slurry mixture mixed up real good and then go ahead and connect it and let it start pumping through. And uh, after a couple seconds, you can go ahead and move it over. I'm going to try and get out of the way here so that I can see it on the camera. And I'm going to let my container overflow just a tad. I think that's about good. Give that about 10 or 15 seconds to settle and we're going to see how much water is actually in there spoiler alert it's not much it's maybe a quarter of an inch of water but i can imagine if you connected up a tube to this and ran it outside of your cabinet or maybe even put like a little junction on the back where you could route it outside the cabinet um, you could do the, the media changes pretty damn fast. I didn't know what to expect. I came up with this design on my own. Um, just threw it together in AutoCAD and printed it out on my 3D printer and literally just guessed at how it should work. And, um, let's see here. I'd say that's pretty damn impressive. Out of this whole container, I have about a quarter of an inch of water on the top. Let me know what your thoughts are.